Viper Insight is designed to provide JP3 system customers with unparalleled visibility into their systems and processes from any location at any time. The product supports laptops, tablets, and mobile devices, while information security remains our top priority. This short video is designed to provide a quick overview of the features, functions, and capabilities of the Viper Insight application software package. New features and functions are being added at a rapid pace and are immediately available to our users upon release. No further user action is required. The first feature we would like to discuss is the Fleet Dashboard. As many of our customers have multiple systems in multiple locations, this feature allows users to quickly find a system by location and then dive in deeper with the click of a mouse. In this map selection, you can see there are six sites which are designated by the green circles with checkbox. By left-clicking on any of one of these pop-up windows, you will see the name of the site, the project name, and a list of the analysis points available for that system. Another left-click on any one of these read points will take you directly to the data view screen for that read point. We will spend much of this video looking deeper into the features and functions of the data view screen that you see now. Data view is the main screen used within Viper Insight. It is divided into several logical sections which provide an easy-to-use interface that is rich in data and information. We'll spend the next several minutes discussing each of these functions and how they can be used to provide unprecedented insight into your plant operations. Starting with the red banner across the top of the screen, you find information about the system, the analysis point, the time period of data you're looking at, and some additional features we will cover later. In this case, we're looking at the latest 24 hours of data for the gas inlet, gas plant inlet read point of a gas plant. The next row offers additional ways to navigate and understand the data. For example, the current spectra displayed was the most recent one recorded by the analyzer. And we can see that that occurred at 10.22.07 on September the 13th of 2017. We can also see that the temperature was 95.5 degrees F, temp pressure was 708.1 PSI, and the device transmission level was 70.7 percent. This spectra is very representative of a high-value natural gas that has not been processed. You can also see that the spectra covers range of 1300 or 1350 to 1800 nanometers, which is very effective for measuring hydrocarbon composition and other properties of oils and gases. Now let's take a look at the data table section of the screen, which is located here to the right. The data table provides the numerical results for all of the analyses associated with the current read point, which is the gas plant inlet read point one. In addition to the parameter name, we provide output, which is typically the, the numerical output, which is communicated to the plant DCS or SCADA system. We also provide a raw calculated value as well as two numbers that are used statistically to evaluate other aspects of the performance of the system. In this case, we are providing C1 through C6 compositional analysis as well as a dry BTU measurement. The T's and Q's can provide immediate insight if something abnormal is happening within the process and it allows JP3 together with the customer to define specific actions that can be taken. For example, alarms can be sent out, uh, models can be switched, 
or other actions can occur that ensure the VERAX is providing high quality data all of the time. The principal component map, or more commonly known as the PC map, provides a visual way to quickly identify groups or types of spectra that have been collected over the time period of interest. Principal components are spe spectral characteristics and associations that are highly representative of the properties being measured. By plotting the largest and second largest, largest contributor of these, we can provide a tool that allows deeper investigation into process changes or upsets without knowing exactly what's going on. In the current PC map, each blue dot represents an individual measurement taken during the last 24 hours. You can see a natural grouping in the lower left quadrant with a less frequently occurring tail in the upper right section. At this point, I'd like to introduce one of the very useful features available with Viper. The button you see here marked Multiple Spectrum Selection allows users to select individual or groups of spectra from the PC map or from a historical trend chart, which we'll see later in this video. These selected spectra can then be plotted to see spectral differences or the PC map and time event of the spectra can be visually matched to know exactly when an event or a change began and when it ended. For this demo, I'm going to select a spectra from the main grouping, which represents normal operation, and you can see it's turned red, and one spectra from this tail, which represents perhaps abnormal operation. Now that I have those two spectra selected, I'm going to build the spectra, and you do that by pressing the Build Absorption button. And you can see that clearly there's a difference between these spectra, and it occurs right in here. And I know that the yellow one, which represents this area up here, tends to be a little bit lower, lighter, in some of the heavier hydrocarbons. That means we would expect to see a lower BTU value during that time period. Now how would we know that if we scroll down and this is the same information 24 hours it's just a trend chart of we've selected the dry BTU and as I selected two spectra up here you can see that those two points are also showing up on the trend line. This is the one associated with the uh, yellow spectra which does in fact show a drop from around 1280 to about 1258 BTU during that time period. If I wanted to find out when all of the unusual measurements occurred, I could select them all and immediately find them on the historical trend chart. So I'm going to deselect the records then I'm going to select all of those measurements that occurred in that tail. Now I can plot those again if I want to build the absorption. You can see they're all quite similar. And then if I scroll down to the historical timeline, I can see that they are in fact grouped in the time period of a low BTU output and uh, that it's outside of the typical range that we see over that time period. Another useful feature is the ability to quickly at this point move from measurement to measurement so you can see during that same time period we saw an increase in the in the methane. You can quickly see what happens. The ethane is dropped during that period and we could step through any one and all of these and take a look at what's going on during that particular uh, process occurrence. Another useful feature of Viper is the ability to build custom graphs. And so in this case you can select multiple uh, elements from the chart. So I'm going to put C1, C2, C3, and dry BTU. So I'm going to select four. I'm going to build that graph. 
And then very quickly, you can start seeing how each of these components is related to the others in terms of what's going on at any given time. And you can see they're all affected during this time period. And it just allows our users to very quickly look for visual relationships and identify uh, how one variable affects the other. Within Viper, it is very easy to change the time frame of data or for visualization and to move from one analysis point to another. By expanding the toolbar, there's an array of information that the user can select from. You can load, of course, you can see the system, the information you're looking at, the analysis point, the time frame, and other features about the way that the screen will be displayed. In this case, I'm going to change from three days of data to the last 24 hours, and I simply select it. I hit generate, and there it is. And I'm sorry, I did 24 hours again. I'm going to hit generate for three days. And you can see that the PC map looks very similar uh, with continuations of, of trails out there. The other thing that you can do from this screen is you can also uh, change analysis points. So as you recall, this particular system had four analysis points on it, and here they are. And if I simply select another one, I'm going to pick 24 hours just to make the download faster. Select that, and you can see in this case, again, it's a natural gas, but this is more of a pipeline grade natural gas that is being sent out after being demethanized. Uh, the last thing that I would like to show you and the feature I'd like to demonstrate is how easy it is to uh, download Viper data for offline analysis and or reporting. So the information that you currently have at any time is available by simply clicking on the Excel icon and then what you'll see is you'll have a downloaded file. You open that file in Excel and basically you can do what you want with it there from a standpoint of graphing, charting, or any other typical Excel analysis you want to, to uh, perform. There are many other features which we've not covered in this video. If you'd like to learn more about JP3 and our solutions for the oil and gas market, please visit us at www.jp3measurement.com or call us at 512-423-0592.